coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My coffee mug is back. I know some of you were completely disappointed and a little devastated that I didn't have a mug in my previous other videos. I think there's three or four videos where I don't have a coffee mug. Um, but you guys know that I really, I film like at random times of the day. I will either film at like 11, p 10, 11 p.m. all the way until like 1 a.m. or I'll get up early like at 4 or 5 a.m. and start filming. So that day, it was really late. It was like 11.30 and I didn't want to go downstairs and I was like, oh, I really do want some coffee, but it's 11.30 and if I do that, then I'm going to regret it completely. So I didn't even think you guys would notice but who am I to fool my genius pandas? I'm sorry, that'll never happen again. <laughs> anyway, so I'm here with this tutorial. This is a tutorial inspired by my ColourPop Metamorphosis quad. I will link the video behind this quad in the description box below. Um, there's a special meaning behind it and I'll explain the colors and I swatch them for you guys and everything. In case you're not familiar, I didn't forget uh, on accident, you know, I was purposely giving it a break because I know some of you can't get the quad or weren't really interested in supporting my quad. <laughs> but. Um, I took a little break on purpose or purposefully and I wanted to bring it back but I also wanted to bring it back with a purpose. If you guys saw my previous tutorials recently I'm telling you that I want to kind of go through some forgotten makeup or maybe palettes that I haven't used in a while. So what I decided to do was come up with a look using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette and my quad together and I came up with this little number. I actually didn't know what I was going for and then this was born. I gotta say, I'm kind of really happy with it. I really hope you guys will like it. It almost looks like a cut crease, but it's not because I don't know how to do that. Um, <laughs> but, but it's an eye look. So if it is a cut crease, great. If it's not, then at least it kind of looks like one. Anyway, so if you wanna see how I got this look, then please keep watching. So like always, I already did one eye for reference. How pretty is this? I kind of want to like permanently do this makeup look on my eyes. I wonder if that's possible. Imagine. Um, I already primed my other eye with Benefits Air Patrol. All I'm gonna say about this eyelid primer is, you know what the long sigh means. Then I'm gonna take my um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette and this color right here, this giant one. I'm not even gonna say the names. I'm not even gonna try. Let's just not try. And that's going to go under the brow all the way to the crease. You guys know I like to do my brow bone highlight all the way down to the crease so that the other colors blend real easy. Then I'm gonna take a giant fluffy blending brush like this Sigma E40 and I'm going to dip it into the opposite side of the palette, this color right here, and that's going to be our transition shade. This color is so stunning and it's so soft and easy to blend. Because the shadow itself is soft, you get a little bit of, you know, dustiness on the palette. But if you're really careful, it's such a beautiful color. I think Kat needs to make this a single. Does she even have single eyeshadows? I don't think she does. She used to. I got uh, one or two on clearance at Sephora. And I think when they put stuff on clearance, well, you know what it means when they put stuff on clearance. <laughs> so that's just gonna be our transition shade. Then I'm gonna take a flat shader brush like this one and dip it into that same color. And I'm going to drag that on the lower lash line. Then I'm gonna take a different shader brush like this one and I'm going to dip it into this color right here, it's like almost like a burgundy brown and that's going to go all over the lid. I like to pack it really good onto the lid but I also like to take my time because it is a dark color and I already have my makeup done. I don't wanna have a dark fallout you know, to mess up everything. So I take it, dip it, pack it on. Then take that same brush, that same brown shade, and that's also going to go on the lower lash line, but it's gonna go in a lot tighter than the previous color. You guys, I don't even know where I left off because I was doing my makeup, filming this tutorial, and then my son wakes up. It's probably like five in the morning, 
And so I have to, you know, when he wakes up, he has a routine where I give him a bath, I give him his bottle, all that stuff. And it's been several hours be between when I was filming and now, and we're just gonna have to wing it and remember where we were. So I'm guessing, I was telling you guys about this beautiful burnt, like burgundy maroonish color. It's so nice. And you take a smaller blending brush and you apply it to the crease. And even though it's the same color here, you can actually build it and it can make, it can turn darker. I was having a, like an English Spanish moment. Um, so you can apply it and focus it right in the middle of the crease and it will get darker if you build it. And so it looks like if it was another color and it's really not. We also applied that same reddish brown shade to the lower lash line. And I think I told you about that, you guys, where you apply it really tight to your lashes. And then I'm going to take the color Kindness and this is the duochrome sheer opal shade from my ColourPop quad. And unfortunately this color isn't available single, so if you wanna get it, you have to get the quad, but it's okay because all the colors in the quad are magical. And you take that color on your ring finger or any finger, you could even take a synthetic flat shader brush, and I'm going to pat that on the lid. This is a nice color because it transforms whatever shadow you're using as a base. It could be a cream shadow, a potted shadow, a stick, whatever it is. And I apply a thin layer first whenever I'm doing a look. So if I'm doing a look and I wanna use kindness, I'll apply a really thin layer and see how it looks. And then depending on the type of look that I wanna achieve, I can apply another layer and a another layer and it just gets it builds up the color more and more opaque. So at first it's like a sheer, almost pixie dust type glitter look. And then you can build it up to full on metallic. It's a really unique and special shade. It's definitely my favorite from the quad. I'm gonna kind of let that set for a minute. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brown eyeliner and that's going to go in my waterline. Then I'm going to take a black eyeliner and that's going to go in my tight line. And I, I wanna use black in my uh, tight line because you can see it makes my lashes appear a lot thicker than they actually are. You know, I'm always saying that I have like two eyelashes. Well, black eyeliner in my lash line, my top lash line makes, it makes a really big difference. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a really small synthetic brush like this one, and I'm going to take the color Hope, that's the other sheer opal and duochrome color in my quad, and that's going to go in the lower lash line over that burgundy red shade that we applied. So we're not going to drag it too far down, this is just going to be a light shade or wash of color that we're going to put in the lower lash line. Now go back in with this shader brush and that same burnt brownish red, I swear I need to like name it, I should just call it like teddy bear. And then take this color and we're going to go back in right in the crease, right, right in the crease and we're going to darken it up so that there's a little bit of distinction between the base shade and the crease shade. Now I'm actually gonna go in with a secret that I just discovered, and this is a really good mascara cocktail for those of you that have not the best lashes like I do. So what I've been doing is I take the Lash Stunner Primer from Stila, then I do one coat of the Roller Lash from Benefit to kind of give them a little bit of a perk. And because I opened this mascara to do my top five favorite mascaras, I already have so many open, so I wanna use it up. You know, I didn't wanna open it in vain almost, that sounds ridiculous. Anyway, so what I do is I do the primer, a thin lash, a thin coat of the roller lash, and then a couple of coats of the falsies or big eyes from Maybelline, and I also use this for my lower lashes. So I'm gonna do my lashes and I'll be right back. And that's the completed look. What do you guys think? Super easy, right? So I cannot stop falling in love with kindness. Every single time I use kindness, I, oh, you guys, isn't it? It's just the best, prettiest, 
most unique shade ever. I know everyone tries to compare it to other shadows, but it really isn't. It's sheer and it's almost like a wet consistency. So even if it were similar to a shadow, it's not a powder shadow, so it can give you different results. Anyway, I, it's my child, so who am I to? I'm like Mama Cuervo over here. If you don't know what that means, I don't know how to explain it in English. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like always, all of the products that I use that are on my face or that I'm wearing will be listed in the description box below. Um, what else do I want to tell you guys? I feel like this tutorial is kind of like zip, 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 zippy through. Anyway, if you guys know of a palette that I own, like the Naked palettes or the Lorac palette or anything else that you kind of want me to rediscover or do a tutorial on, let me know in the comment section below. Oh, I remembered what I wanted to tell you. My ColourPop Quad is limited edition, so it's not going to be available for a very long time. So if you guys were hoping to get your hands on this, don't wait too long because you might miss your chance to get it. Right now, ColourPop has several new collections out right now, so it might be a good thing to add to your cart to get free shipping. You know what I'm saying? Some of you have asked me also about um, international shipping, and I know that there are a lot of shippers that offer their services for international customers. So basically how it works is you place an order and they'll give you an address to ship it to, a US address to ship it to. You place your order, you have it sent to that specific PO box or other address. That person boxes your product and sends it to you internationally, and there's a really small fee involved. It's not a crazy fee. It's nothing that, you know, would make the product not worth it anymore because the cost is so much more. Um, so if I can find um, some shippers, I will list them in the description box below. Or if you know of some shippers, if you're an international customer and you use shippers, can you please let us know in the comment section below and also give your comment a thumbs up so that it stays at the top of the comments? Because I know so many of you, especially in Indonesia, have Frida and have Metamorphosis and I don't know how you got it there, and I would really love to know. So let us know in the comment section below. Anyway, if you found this video useful, entertaining,